heard uh, how's the first couple of days been officially as a West Coast Eagle? Yeah, it's been pretty exciting coming in as a full-time Eagle now instead of coming in once a week, so it's exciting times ahead. Yeah, it's not like you're a new kid on the block because you have trained with the, the team before. Yeah, so for the new guys, it probably wasn't as daunting for me coming in. I mean, like, people here where the other boys looked a bit daunting for them, so I was pretty used to it now. When you came in once a week, who did you spend most of your time with? Who did you have most to do with it? Yeah, so coming once a week on a Tuesday, um, spent most of my time with Drew Petrie, just one on one, um, working on game plan, um, just specific um, stuff that to improve on in the in the game of footy and just in general about footy. Um, Drew's known as one of the sort of best people involved in footy. What else did he did he teach you about? And talk to you about? Oh, just probably. Don't take it for granted, just make the most of the opportunity when I came in once a week. So use the resources, so um, like the coaches, the facilities here at West Coast. How did you feel about your development over the last 12 months, Jerry? Yeah, so my development probably started off slow at the start of the season, so I slowly ramped it up at the end of the season. So it wasn't good enough to go into the state 18s at the, at the first intake, then um, then they end up picking me later in the year to come in as a top up player. And you had that big game, um, was it down it was down at Geelong, wasn't it? Yeah. Had so, yeah, had that, a big yeah. That must have given you a lot of confidence. Yeah, so yeah, well I wasn't expecting had a game plan to go in is to um pressure and just play my role. Then the ball just come my way. So I made the most of my opportunities that day in what front of goals. Brothers, what did your brother say, buddy, when uh like Brisbane tried to get you? and then they couldn't and you end up at West Coast. Did he ring you and tease you or something? What was it? How, what was the conversation with Charlie about? Yeah, so he rang me before, um, before the draft started. He said, um, you got an idea where you're going? I was like, nah, probably not. He's like, you could end up at Brisbane here. So I was like, oh, well, didn't expect Brisbane to bid for me. So, um, yeah, then I went into that. Then he rang me after that saying, Congratulations, he was excited for me, so, yeah. Obviously, there's two parts to a bid, the, the club bids and then West Coast had to decide to match. How specific were the Eagles in terms of talking to you about if someone bids for you at this stage of the draft, we'll definitely match it, but if someone bids for you at this stage of the draft, we might not. Did they talk to you about that or did they just like... Yeah, well, yeah, Andrew McDougall, so my player manager, spoke to me that it was fairly early, West Coast probably wasn't going to match the bid, they were going to let it go, but if it was like late, so like, yeah, we're, when I got picked up at 39, so they decided to match the bid then, so. That's about the middle. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you didn't play footy, eh, until you were what, when you went to Aquinas, what, 15? And that was because you were a league player, and you went to Aquinas and they didn't play league, so you went to footy. Yeah, so we're originally from Queensland, so moved over, then didn't play much footy, so when I went to Aquinas, so probably about 15, I transferred over because I didn't have rugby league at school and I didn't like rugby union, so then I went to AFL. Then, um, yeah, just played that th through school. You think you're in the right sport then? You think footy is the one for you? Or? Yeah, I think, uh, I think I chose the right sport because I played baseball uh, before that and travelled around the world for that, so I bet then end up choosing footy over it. How hard was it to get used to kicking the ball? Because you obviously had some good highlights finding the two posts against the country, but how hard was the transition to kicking an AFL footy? Oh, it wasn't that hard. I was, yeah, some people say it's natural talent, just transferring over to other sports, so I had that on my side a bit, just choosing sports. What about handballing, learning to handball? What was that like? Oh, I probably can't remember <laughs> back then, yeah. And you lived with Liam Duggan for a while, did you? Did yeah, so, yeah, I stayed with him. So I'd done a pre-season, uh, come in for a week, with West Coast last year as a, for pre-season um, and I stayed with him and Jackson Nelson for a week with, at their house and learnt probably how to be like professional, um, how they go about it, going into trainings and just like how they go with their routine. And is Uncle Louie taking you under his wing, is he? Is that what you're calling Uncle Louie? Yeah, so he rang me the other day actually when I got picked up and I thought it was someone else just pranking me but it was... And then I hung up, then he rang me back, and it's, it's, he said Uncle Louis, so I was like, oh, he had me. So I just, yeah, pranked me. Is he, give, is he taking you under his wing a bit? Is he guiding you? Yeah, so he's, 
yeah, you can probably, what he did with Liam Ryan in the grand final, probably that's what he's starting to do with me now, take me under his wing and Willie and Liam. What did he say to you when you rang him? No, he saw it. He was excited for me to in, uh, in come to the club and probably um, it's time to work now. Do you see yourself as a similar player uh, to, to these forwards like Vambles and Rioli and Ryan? Yeah, probably play the same role as them. But with so many guys in the team, do you think there's a chance you could play next year or do you see it further down the line? For see how we go, yeah. See how my injury's going, so yeah. What's your injury? Um, yeah, I got a f had a fractured big toe, yeah. Walking in front of a car. <laughs> so you got, got run over by the car? Uh, well, I was open gate. Open, I was at home, opened the gate for a mate, um, and he decided to tap me, and my foot got caught under the car and fractured it, yeah. When was that? Uh, probably about five weeks ago. So what will be your um, progression into full training? What, what, what are you, um, how, how soon? Do you think you'll be able to complete full training? Um, so I've just come out of moon boot, so probably another two weeks, I think. Yeah, so I've just slowly ramping it up now, so doing like stairs. How big was that time with Duggan and Nelson, and how valuable will that be for you starting off this year? Yeah, it's probably, yeah, good. So it's an eye opening how they go about it, and probably like when coming into like the team meetings, is probably, yeah different language towards like Colts and league footy, so how they go about it. Hey, can, you take us, sorry, can you take us through, can you help us out? I mean, you were, were in a privileged position last year. You saw basically a premiership develop and, and you know, a premiership being won by the West Coast Eagles. What was it like to be that close to it and seeing it happen? Can you describe what it was like in the finals and that sort of thing? Yeah, so, yeah, so I was watching the grand, watching the grand final mates house and I was like, yeah, I was. I felt like a part of it when I was come in once a week training, so it's pretty exciting. And did, did you think to yourself about the guys that you knew and, and you could see what they were trying to do and what they were trying to achieve? Yeah, so yeah, had a fair, fairly good idea how they were, how they went about it. How are you different to Charlie, Jared? Like he's obviously quick, like you. Um, good on the ground. He, he can play a bit in the air as well. He, he, he a little bit different in that way. Or? Yeah. So probably, yeah. He likes to jump where I tend to just stay, stay on the ground. Um, he's probably got speed. I probably, yeah. You got a bit of speed. Oh, got right. <laughs> <laughs> are you, uh, are you, are you, you look like the, the happiest, nicest guy going around. Are you a little bit aggressive when you're on the footy field. I noticed there was a couple of things there. Yeah, I don't mind playing on the edge. Yeah. So. Some people bring Charlie up, so it gets me going a bit, so... Because um, uh, with the other <coughs> year players coming in, because you've been here a while, do you feel like they can come to you for any advice, or do you now need to sort of claim your territory and uh, make a spot for your own? Oh, some of them have been coming to me lately, just who are these people? Yeah, try to help them out as much as I can, so... So when you say they bring Charlie up, you're talking about they, they sled you about your brother? Yeah, so it's saying like, you, yeah, know. saying I'm in his shadow. Yeah, so I just thrive off that. And like when I was playing against Vic Country, they all sat in that. And I was just like, I just kicked a bag on you guys, so I wouldn't be piping <laughs> up. <laughs> so it's a bit of a chip in your shoulder and you sort of want to prove people wrong? Yeah. What was it? You played in a really. Um, um, Thrilling Colts grand final. How was that and how disappointing was it to, to lose that one? Yeah, it's pretty disappointing losing a grand final. Um, but at the end of the day, it's just probably, it was another game to me. I try not to think about it, so yeah. Did you notice any extra Subiaco bodies in the back line <coughs> that, that last bit? Um, <laughs> no, not really, because I was just one on one deep, so I was just worrying about my player, yeah.